Hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. We're in a waning crescent moon phase as we head towards, we're in this last quarter moon phase, but it's technically a waning crescent moon phase that we're in um, as we're winding down this cycle. The cycle officially closes out on the uh, 15th and then we have a new moon phase on the 16th so this video is for the 13th of uh, 13th of August through the 13th of September that number 13 is very very powerful I'm going to share with you all what 13 looks like when it's aligned and when it's not aligned right help you to be able to find some some clues and some things that you uh, may have been thinking about like I said the moon is a waning crescent moon it's in cancer you already have the questions for cancer so I'm going to give you the questions for on Monday, the the moon will be in part of the day, it'll be in Cancer, and then it'll be moving into Leo. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Leo, okay? Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. So for the questions for the moon in Cancer, go and watch the video for Friday, the video for Friday, which would, in some parts of the world, would have gone up on uh Thursday. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. The moon is in Cancer moving into Leo. Moving into Leo. Like I said, the moon um, remains in a zodiac sign. It moves through zodiac signs between one and a half to uh, uh, two days. And um, and so that's why, it, that's why one part of the day you can feel one way about a situation. Later on that day, you can feel a totally different way about it, depending on you know, that moon moving through, when the moon is moving through zodiac signs. Remember, the moon is in line with our instinct and our need for protection, physical, mental, emotional protection, um, what's familiar to us, you know, the maternal instincts, um, nature, rhythms, and rituals, that need for security, that need for nurturing. Um, and so you have to learn how to be, make sure you are activating that, that feminine energy being in re intentionally being in receiving mode of messages, right? So when that moon went, when that moon was in Gemini, Gemini is a mutable sign. Gemini is a sign that loves to learn, Aquarius. So that's where, you know, communication with whomever is in your universe, communication is key. And we're talking about, you know, learning about how people communicate, reading those signs, what kind of information they're sending out to you. You know, also that verbal contact, you know, what are they saying to you? What are they not saying? Are you reading between the lines? And these are, this is everybody who has access to your universe in your personal and your professional life, Aquarius. Then when the moon moved into cancer, that was where your primary concern was security, right? As it should always be. And there's this deep instinct to nurture and protect yourself, right? And to protect other people, right? As your moods wax and wane one minute you feel this way the next minute you feel you know strongly about this the next minute you feel strongly about that you know um and then as it moves into leo which you'll start to feel more on monday um that's where you're seeking an active flow of praise and love from others right you want some good feedback you want some constructive feedback right that's going to be really really important leo is ruled by the sun it's your polarity sign it's a fire sign and so as you see this is wax and wane that moon is moving from masculine to feminine to masculine to feminine to masculine to moving through the signs masculine feminine masculine feminine and so i'm gonna i'm here to keep you uh shining a light on those emotions here we go in conjunction with your reading. All right, here we go, Aquarius, here we go. Like I said before, this reading is for the 13th of August through the 13th of September. We are just moving through these phases. We are currently in a waning crescent moon phase, getting ready to start a whole new um, cycle on the 16th. And so as we're winding down, this is what's happening. You're closing out this cycle. Remember, when the moon was fully illuminated, Aquarius, this was really all about, it was a full moon in Aquarius. We have two full moons in August. The first one was a sturgeon moon, right? So you're saying, if it's taking me out of alignment with my life purpose, and I feel overwhelmed emotionally, then I need to release something so I can make room to receive what I've been thanking Source for, right? Got it? Temperance card. Source wants you to see things at a higher frequency. Here we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. 
We have the Seven of Swords. Still some things that somebody's thinking about from the past. When you think about certain things, your thoughts don't always go in the positive direction, Aquarius. Time to take some kind of action. Here we have the death card. Something could be giving somebody a headache. Every time you think about it, it's like, uh. And it, whether it's a physical headache or when you think about it, it's just like, okay. You start breathing kind of deep, right? Here we have the king of pentacles. This is the wealthiest card in the deck. So what Source is trying to help somebody to understand is that you don't have to go through a lot of the stress that you go through as being an overgiver, Aquarius. Everything right here is aligned. And you got these, there's some situations here on the other side of it. Source wants you to look at things from a broader view, right? The less energy you put into, this is fire, which would be your ideas. This cup's water. This would be your emotions. Source is your thought, your power, and your, your intellect. Your pentacles are your finances. And so this is all elements of you in your universe, right? So you're at the top of your, you're a queen of, queen of wands. You're the king of pentacles. And so now it's time to get, so you're at the top of this right here, right? You're, you're a person who feels happy, charismatic, and free about what's about to happen in your life. You know, you don't think or hope, you know that you're going to be extremely wealthy. This is not even a guess or hope. It's already predestined for you to be it's financially wealthy, right? And I'm talking about paper, coins, great relationships, healthy relationships, all of that, right? So source is saying, have childlike faith that when you pick up these two swords, because there's still some things that's kind of sort of, you know, keeping you at a low frequency every time you think about something. And so that's where you go to source and say, whoever it is, because these are loved ones, right? Whoever it is that throws you out of alignment and it stops you from fulfilling your purpose. Like I said before, maybe you want to, you know, uh, maybe you want to open up some businesses to hire people. Maybe you want to. Maybe you want to do some other things. Maybe you want to hire your own CPA. That you, if you have a business, or hire your own legal team. Whatever it is that you need to do, sources say there could be two energies that's in the way. There could be two energies that's in the way, and because you love them, the fact that you get upset. Remember, you all are the smartest sign in the zodiac. You all are thinkers, but you're also the friendliest sign in the zodiac, and you're humanitarians, Aquarius. So <clears throat> source is saying when that moon was in Gemini and you started thinking about the verbal contact, what was the verbal conversation? Was it like this struggle, this push and pull where, you know, you felt disrespected or some people crossed the line or um, some things that were done actions? What was that? What was that communication like? Right. What did you learn from that? Remember, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the planet, the messenger planet and the communication planet, but it's also the knowledge and learning planet. What did you learn about those energies and how you communicated with them and how they communicate with you, right? Was it a distraction, right? Are you a person who says, okay, if I have a static with a person, I just feed them with a long spoon for a while, but then when we come back together, it's still the same static. Nothing has really been accomplished. It's still overstepping your boundaries. Something now has to be done, right? So when the moon moves to cancer, which you're feeling right now, and you feel like, okay, this is deep instinct to nurture and protect myself and other people. Remember, self is first. That's source inside of you. Self is first. Do I feel nurtured? Do I feel protected? When I communicate with certain people, places, and things, and people overstep their boundaries, and they're disrespectful, or they disregard my emotions, or leave me vulnerable, do I feel protected in that energy, right? And especially if you've had physical, the physical existence of things, not just in your mind, like physically had conversations, verbal connection with people, right? So um, source is saying you're at the top of your, your, your place here when it comes to being happy, charismatic, and free, because obviously somebody's in their light, right? Source wants you to have childlike faith and take some kind of action. Take action, take action, take action. Stop talking about it and be about it. That's what Source wants somebody to do. Stop talking about it and be about it. Then number 13, 13 means that, 13 resonates to a genius quality and it means that you have an out-of-box approach to life. It just means that you can attract sudden changes that are meant to keep you alert and aware, right? Um, number 13 also means that you have many experiences that are meant to, you have many changes in your life that are meant to transform and empower you throughout your entire life. 
That's what the number 13 means. One plus three is four to keep you grounded. That's why source is saying to you, um, this earth energy, number four is the earth number. It was already meant for you to be very wealthy here on earth because as humanitarians, you already got it right. You're so far ahead of the, the game. It's not even funny, Aquarius. And like I've been mentioning in previous readings, a lot of people still think paper, money is paper and coins. A lot of people still think money is paper and coins. Um, and it's we see this credit score. We see this healthy relationships with your institutions, your banking institutions and other people and those kind of things. And so you're going to notice people whose number 13 is out of alignment since this video is for the 13th of August through the 13th of September because they put um, too much focus and energy on material things at the expense of your spiritual warfare, right? Like their energy is so much on earthly things. Like, you know, I don't care what I got to do to get this house, this car. I don't care who I have to step on. I don't care who I have to take advantage of. I don't care who I have to X, Y, and Z. It puts you in spiritual warfare because your heart is in the right place towards people. You want to help people. That cancer in you, when that moon moves through cancer, you want to nurture other people. But now you're starting to think, well, wait a minute, am I nurtured first? I gotta before I can nurture somebody else, I gotta make sure I'm good, right? 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 That energy is impatient, that temper flares up with them, you know, and they will suddenly destroy everything that you've built. That's what somebody is starting to understand, is that those energies are like what's the term? Like a like a easily become unhinged when, when their energies can't get what they want. Right? So here we have four of cups, the queen of cups. We have the king of wands. We have the seven of pentacles. We also have the magician card and also the strength card. The magician card and the strength card. So source is the, the magician card is attached to Mercury, by the way. The magician card. Um, so source is saying to you, see this tail? Remember I was saying before? The tails are showing. Source is saying to you, because you are now, you are out of the wilderness, like meaning you're out of your own storms and you see things crystal clear and you're dealing with energies that their number 13 is out of alignment and they will throw you out of alignment. Now it's time to take action. It's time to pick up those swords, that power and that intellect and move on from something. Instead of sitting around like this, number four, posted up and your ancestors are handing you cups of water because you're sitting there dehydrated, reaching for unhealthy things that's making you even more dehydrated. Again, spiritual warfare. You're at war with yourself. I need to take some kind of action. I need to do something about this, but I'm, at, I'm in spiritual warfare because when that moon is in cancer, I feel this need to take care of everybody else. But again, as you're learning, the first person you need to take care of, the first human you need to take you where human form is yourself, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all, um, Aquarius. I see you having a great deal of compassion. Here we have the queen of your emotions. So you're moving up on that. You're moving up, right? Moving on up. Here we have the king of wands. You got the king and queen of wands. The so source says, not only do you, are you at the top of your game when it comes to your ideas, you're happy, charismatic, and free. It's harvest time for you. Here we have the seven of pentacles. Remember, when, when, we, when the number seven is out of alignment, then you start asking yourself, how come people just don't get it? How come they don't see they don't see my heart. How come they don't see that I can help them with this? How come they just don't see whoever these energies are? How come they don't see I can help them? So it's just like, keep on planting seeds for what you want, Aquarius. And that's what I'm seeing for you all. Planting seeds for what you want, Aquarius. But also handle this. Handle this. The Seven of Swords energy. Handle it. Stop talking about it and do something. Like I said before... Um, that reading that was dated for the 11th, which is Friday. Source is saying it's time to take some kind of action. And the action initially could just be source. Give me an exodus strategy out of it. That could be the first action that you're taking. God, just give me an exodus strategy out of it. When I think of certain people, my thoughts go very low, very low to the point of putting extra air to water where I feel spiritually dehydrated. I start going back to eating unhealthy foods. My plan was to keep myself hydrated, to drink more water. For some people, they were going to lose weight. Some people were going to gain weight. Some people was thinking about, and, and, and water, that's the last thing somebody's picking up on because they go back to emotional, because you're emotional warfare because of some energies. 
picking back up bad habits. <clears throat> so, like I said, here we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card, and the King of Swords. There it is, Justice card. Justice is in your favor. Sources, just go ahead and cut them off. Go ahead and cut them off. Cut off the emotional stress. This is a willful act that somebody's taking. And focus on your legacy. So we got the King of Pentacles and also the Ten of Coins, with a, which are the wealthiest card in the deck. So focus on your legacy and focus on your wealth. See this snake right here? See how this, like a snake charmer. The snake charmer, source is saying to you, snake energy is not necessarily bad. This particular snake is. This is a venomous snake. But source is saying to you, you've already been bitten by a non-venomous snake. Don't let it get venomous where people are stay, taking out life insurance policies on you because you just can't, you just can't for some reason make it make sense in your head. I don't, don't want to believe certain people would do that to me. All right, then I suggest somebody should go start watching some of these crime shows. So there's a lot of wealth there. And if somebody can't get it together at this level where you've already seen things where you don't feel nurtured in certain relationships, Money brings out a lot of desperation in people, especially when people don't, you try to tell people that the energy of money is not what they think it is. And, and the reason why wealth is coming to you is because your heart towards people and the relationships that you're building are very wealthy relationships. So like I said before, here we have the wheel of fortune. Source is saying, I'm going to give you some time to, I'm not only going to give you some time to see things from a higher frequency to make it make sense. I'm going to give you some time to come to me. So source is saying, I'm giving you some time to come to me and um, and ask me for an exodus strategy out of something. Yeah, and ask me for an exodus strategy out of something. Here we have the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and also the King of Swords. So again, you're at the top of this. So you're at the top of it in all of this, right? We have the... Uh, King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, we have the Queen of the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles, right? We also have Knight Energy. So Source is saying, stay away from any negative thinking. You don't want to put any negative energy out into the universe because that's not what you want to come back. You can control. You can control your reaction because reaction to however things come across because. You're seeing the bigger picture here, your legacy, your legacy wealth, right? So somebody is already in a posture of gratitude with source saying, I'm already in a posture of gratitude that it's already taken care of, that it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Because people will try to push your button because they know how much wealth is involved. And, and trust me, if there are people who um, are into watching tarot people could be watching your sign or whatever but the beautiful thing about this um is that is that source will also hide your messages in other areas of your of those other houses <laughs> in your universe that's why i always say don't just watch your sun sign watch the other placements in your sign in your chart because source will also hide that in other parts of your chart too just because a person thinks that they have um they could think, okay, well, I know Aquarius's birthday. I know where they were born, right? And they may think that they know all of these things about you, but they don't know your move unless you're saying something about what your next move is. That's why you don't always need to be in giving mode. You need to sit down somewhere and be in receiving mode of those messages and all of those signs around you, Aquarius, so that you can throw... Because remember, the... Uh, birth slash natal charts is your your fingerprint it's your unique fingerprint which sets you apart from every other aquarius on the planet but it doesn't mean that people know your next move i hope that makes sense for somebody because it's already predestined for you to be wealthy and you've already been charmed by a snake right you've already been charmed by a snake aquarius i hope somebody's paying attention Somebody knows that, that you will let them get that close to you, but don't ever get it twisted. When they, people know that that's that money, that amount of money is involved, how desperate people will get to get to it. So that's where you don't want to be naive. That's where you don't want to be naive at all, Aquarius. So 
Here we have the seven of swords. Here we have the queen of swords. We have the five of swords. We have the two of cups, the hierophant card, and also the star card. Mm -hmm. So somebody has an innate spiritual understanding of things. Somebody has an innate spiritual understanding. Um, when we talk about the lengths that people will go through, you know, when you had a snake close enough to you, a snake will um, do all, a, a venomous snake will do all kinds of things. So you've already been warned by a snake charmer, right? You've already been warned. Somebody's close to you. Get, you let them get that close to you. You've already been warned, but you also have an innate spiritual understanding as to why they are the way that they are, Aquarius. And your bright light, staying in your light of hope, um, of of being this inspiration to people has actually, you've already seen that it irritates their demons because again, it, it's something about what they said. It's something how they get ir easily irritated. It's something because they, again, they're only looking at, they're only looking at money. They're only looking at paper and coins. So here we have the, um, the seven of swords again, right? So yeah, this person right here, this is probably a, a, a better depiction but this per this see this full moon right here. This is your emotions fully illuminated. When your thoughts get that low, and your ancestors are crying out, "Listen, we already got this under control. You don't need to even think those low dark thoughts about something. You need to swing into action. Meaning, you need to get as far away. You need to pick up these swords right here. Do you see how this person is putting their swords in their belt? You need to put this. You need to raise these swords. Raise your frequency, and move on from some energies." And move on from some energies. Because if you don't think certain energies will sacrifice you for money, I don't even know what to tell you. You all are the smartest sign in the zodiac. Here we have the queen of swords. And when I say sacrifice somebody, sometimes that just looks like a setup. Sometimes it looks like a setup. So you all use your imagination. Here we have the five of swords. But something has already been said. Something has already been said that's given you a headache. Could have possibly made you cry, Aquarius. Could have just frustrated you. Just like, I cannot believe what I'm listening to. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't even believe this. Right? Like, when did all of this rage and when did all of this come out, come about? But okay, you've, or you've already been, you've already seen it. Here we also have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups lets me know the soulmate energy is trying to come across your path, Aquarius. You know, someone possibly a really, really good friend. If you already have one, somebody could already have a really, really good friend. Because Source is saying to you, you know what nurtures your spirit. You know what you need. You know when you're in conversation with people, just the gentleness of their energy and how they're responding to you. That's what these energies don't know about. That's what these energies don't know about. That your friends are already aware of the, the snake charmer energy. And they don't know who these people are. But you're, you've already made, somebody has already made some people aware of this snake charmer energy. That they'll do anything for money. So you're already protected, Aquarius. So that's not something you necessarily have to worry about. But you don't have to exist in overthinking this. That's giving way too much thought to something when you're already on the when you're already here, king and queen of uh, swords. You're already king and queen of swords. You already are just carefully vetting the thoughts that are coming through your mind, and they may just pop up at just any given moment. You could be washing dishes and they pop up in your mind. You can be driving down the street and it could be like you're like what? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Better pay attention. Source is sending messages through. Queen of Wands, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, we also have the Page of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands, and also the High Priestess card. Yeah, so Source is giving somebody some creative ideas and how to move on from something, but when I say set somebody up, like have somebody committed or arrested or something like that, to kind of sort of set somebody up and end up trying to sue somebody, Source is like, mm -mm, you don't need to do all of that, because you've already been through this enough times to know what this feels like. And so that's why Source has kept some of you all in really hurtful, the memory of really hurtful situations to make sure you never forget how that felt. That's what these energies don't understand. You've already been here before. The slander, the gossip, the people lying, making up stories on you, all of that. So you already know that they're, if they're trying to charm you out of something, 
telling you what you want to hear to get whatever they want to get to get from you, Aquarius. You already know what they're capable of. Ten of Wands. So it's just about to make somebody booked and busy, not burdened at all. Not burdened at all. So remember, Source is saying to you, I see you remaining happy, charismatic, and free, Aquarius. This is the Queen of um, Queen of Wands. You have fire ideas that's coming through. You know how to control your emotions. Here we also have the Page of Cups. So sources said, I'm sending some fresh water across your path. You don't even need to sit around and think about this. High priestess energy. So your your um, your your intuition is so powerful. That's why your intuition, all the clears are front and center. <laughs> like everything is just like clear, crystal clear. You know, for somebody, you don't need to overthink it because overthinking it is self-sabotage. You just need to go with the flow. When we talk about the moon, we're talking about water. You need to go with the flow of these. that's moon passing through these zodiac signs and hear what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not just teaching you how to read cards. When I'm showing you is I, I teach this way intentionally. I'm telling you about the moon phases and what those moon phases mean. We got four planets that are currently retrograde. Mercury is not retrograde, but it's pre-shadow retrograde. So these are pre-tests. These are messengers, messages that are coming through. Sources like I'm sending you, like I'm sending you to test. I'm like, I'm sending you to the, the answer, the key to the test. I'm sending you the key to the actual test. Pay attention. Stop always being in this overgiving mode where you just giving, giving, giving information. I'm about to tell people where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I'm befriending. Stop all of that. Because now that you've been charmed by a snake and you saw that thing up close and personal, you saw that shape shifting. So it says stop talking. Stop opening your mouth. Learn how to keep things close to the cuff. Because if that thing tried to strike, guess who they're going to come up against? Guess who they're going to come up against? Guess where they're going to end up? You don't have anything to worry about. That's why I always tell people, as friendly as you all are, Aquarius, never, ever, ever get it twisted. You all are truly the smartest sign in the zodiac. Look at your symbol. Upright standing human being with water, right? You have everything that every living being needs to survive, right? Inside of you, right? So you can continue being kind-hearted. You can continue being a good-hearted person. But once you've been charmed by a snake, you don't need to know why. All of this overthinking, why? I can't believe, I can't believe. I would have never done that to somebody, okay? That's how people get caught up. <laughs> You better get the message and stop overthinking it, Aquarius, because that's what's happening right here. This King of Pentacles is coming out a lot, and so is this um, this Ten of Pentacles. Source is trying to set somebody up really nice. You're not standing outside of the vault door. You're already in it. You are in the vault. You are in the vault. Right? Start cutting. All right, let's see what else we got going on here, Aquarius. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see if there's anything else. Let me see. I'm looking at these blue playing cards here. Let's see if we can walk it back, Source. What do you want me to know? What do you want me to share with Aquarius, Source? How do you want me to walk this back for uh, Aquarius? The more and more you know how to stop talking after Source shows you something, you know, after you've been in the Five of Swords position, remember you've already been here. You've already been smear campaigns, people lying on you, accusing you of stuff. They don't know the full story. You've already been there. You've already been there, depressed, sad, broke, busted, and disgusted. You've already been there, right? But when a snake charmer gets that close to you to cause this right here, and your ancestors are saying, I'm showing you something that you may not want to believe right here up close and personal, it's time for you to start swinging into Aquarius mode. Page of Cups. So like I said before, Source is sending some youthful water across your path. Source is sending something across your path to help you. 
sending something across your path to help you. Okay, we have the Joker card. We also have the Seven of Spades. The Joker card came out again. The Nine of the Nine of Wands, the Six of Wands, and also the Two of Wands. More fire, 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 fire. Can't go too far into it before I get copyright. Anyway, here we have um, uh, Nine, Six, and Two of Wands. Right. So. Source is saying to you, I see you being victorious. You're at the end of a long and arduous journey of enlightenment. So that's why that's why you're able to hold your reaction to things, right? Because you're in the light about something and, and you're not saying what you know exactly. Plus you got backup here. So source is saying you got a lot of ancestors around you as well. The, <clears throat> see this right here? I want you all to look at this picture. This is the king of pentacles right here. See this person holding this big pentacle right here? This is the wealthy one. This is the snake charmer. The snake charmer assumes that this person is by themselves. They assume that this person is by themselves. But you don't get to the top of the throne without having people around you to help you get there. You're already here, Aquarius. You're not by yourself. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Some people around you are already aware. Source has been sending messages to somebody. Then we have the um, like I said, you're out of your you're out of the wilderness. Something is going to try to call you back, and it's just the memories trying to call you back because somebody has already made a decision. Hey, I'm just going ahead and cut this off. I see you being victorious, and I also see, like I said before, you moving forward and not looking back. Travel, travel, travel. So two jokers, two fools, two fools. Somebody operating in very foolish energy, very foolish energy, right? One may be a little bit more, you know, one may be a little bit more black and white, you know, a little bit more dull, or a little bit more bland. This one right here is a little bit more colorful, right? But either way, the energy is foolish behavior. And the only thing people can think of, like I said before, are dollar signs or whatever your currency is in your in your country. Here we also have the seven, again, <laughs> the seven of spades came out three times. You already know where it's coming from. For somebody, somebody um, would, would make you a sacrifice, Aquarius, because they don't know who's around you. They would absolutely make you a sacrifice. They would sacrifice you if they could. But they would be in for a rude awakening because somebody know not to say something. There's no way you can be on the throne in every one of the elements in your in your cards and not have people positioned around you. This is this is a prime example of what I said in another one of your readings, Aquarius, that sometimes people take people's kindness for weakness and they think that you're just kind of a sitting duck, that it's just you. There's nobody because you don't talk about certain things. You don't talk about certain people you talk to or people that you know. Outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed, and I am open to receive. See, when I'm looking at here, <clears throat> Aquarius, when somebody, it before you knew what your purpose was, before you were completely aligned, Aquarius, somebody would have blurted out something, said, I can't believe this, or I can't believe that, and you know that all the hurt I've gone through in the past and I can't believe you would do this to me and such and such and such and such, whoever it is, doesn't matter who it is. This Aquarius on the other side is not saying anything because you're already in line and you're, it is all, I'm telling you, there's already people in place. There's already people in place that's team you. They already, they already know what's going on. They already know what kind of heart you have, Aquarius. You don't have anything to worry about. So here we have, look at the bigger picture here. Yeah, the bigger picture is that, like I said before, this, um, mm, 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 mm. see when I do readings, very light stuff comes, but very dark stuff comes too, right? I gotta be careful about what I say on, um, on YouTube's platform, <laughs> but you all can read between the lines. You all can read between the lines. You're very, very smart, Aquarius. Bottom line is um, just, you, you, like I said, you got, you got a lot of energy around you, a lot of, lot of ancestors around you helping to guide you through things. Here we have inner power. Your number is 20. 
Let it be known, no will or desire is more powerful than I embodied. Yeah, see this B? This B keeps coming out too because this symbolizes wealth, loyalty, dignity. You all look it up because that's that's what you've been doing. You have been a person who's, like I said, been very loyal. And all of that counts for something. All of that has been counting for something. So if you don't think that there are people out here that know that there's wealth, They've been talking to other people, especially if they've been speaking lack into their lives and things have not been going well for them. And you seem like, you know, because you haven't been frivolous, you know, with your spendings, a lot of people spend well over their means, right? And because you all are not really that kind of a sign. I mean, there could be some Aquarius that spend over their means, but you all are not really that that sign that spins over your means, it could give the impression that you have more than what you actually have. And you are very wealthy because of the energy you put out into the universe, Aquarius, that's now coming back to you. And that's what people are seeing. That's what people are trying to charm out of you. Well, if, if Aquarius is just like this endless stream of wealth, they can just call on people. They can do this. They can get this. They can get that. They can take care of this and that and the other. Trust me, that news has also traveled as well, Aquarius. But again, they'll learn. They'll have to, whoever it is, whoever it is, only you all know who it is. Remember, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you want to be interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Whoever comes to mind, whoever you could be thinking about, Aquarius, and again, I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, even if you're on the cusp of Pisces or Capricorn or Aquarius is your MC or IC. I know cross watchers watch, you know, this as well, but wherever Aquarius is in your channel and you know that it's predestined for you to be wealthy and for you to have a very wealthy legacy, Aquarius, it's you and your person. You and your person, very wealthy legacy, whether it's a business relationship or a romantic relationship. And this is what you're cutting people off from. This is what they don't know. They don't know who's in your life. So, like I said, some people would be in for a rude awakening. They would be in for a rude awakening because you you're, you already know. You're, you've already picked up on energy. Affirmations for kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. This is what made somebody very wealthy. This right here. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. So when you sever ties with those energies who have already charmed, so snake charmers, um, you can get back to this person who's heart is not contaminated because those energies are outside of your universe, if that makes sense to somebody. Outside of your universe. So, what else do we have here? What else do we have here? Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. Let's see what this... Did I get... Uh, hold on. Just give me one second because I have so many Oracle cards here. But, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> See, one thing about you all, Aquarius, is that you all never get tired of being a good person. You never get tired of that's the that's the heart of an Aquarius. You can't. That's how you're wired. You don't. You never get tired of being a good person. You never get tired of giving to people, right? You just now learn how to balance it out, which is great, right? So look for fairies. Look for fairies. Look for those God winks, as some people call them. You know, like, listen, make sure you're in position where you are in receiving mode of those downloads and those messages coming through, because I see you being victorious at handling something. A lot of good things are happening for you all, Aquarius. But like I said, um, that moon in Leo, as we move through cancer and you now know that you should prioritize your own protection and your own security and your own nurturing. You should be the primary person that's making sure your inner child and your future self are nurtured, right? Your current self, your inner child, and your future self are nurtured. Those three energies, right? Me, myself, and I, these energies right here are all nurtured, right? You're the, you're the, 
the the person right to do that right <clears throat> so that moon so the moon in gemini reminded you reminded you of, reminded you of communications conversations with people places and things whether they're still in your universe or not and also right now so some of your exes, they didn't care how you needed to be nurtured. All they cared about is the arm candy. All they cared about is, you know, we look good together or you make this amount of money and we can buy property together. They could care less about whatever your love language is. All those things are coming back to memory for somebody, right? And if you got people in your life right, like that right now, Aquarius, those things are also coming to memory. Those are triggered. Those memories are triggered. That moon in Leo, your spirit is saying... I seek some kind of active flow of praise, of love from others. That means you should have, you shouldn't have to say anything. If you're not getting phone calls and text messages from people, they're saying, "I really appreciate all that you've done for me, Aquarius." I really, you, this is how you learn how to be in receiving mode. You don't have to go out and get it, Aquarius, because source is going to show it to you. Or if you stop giving as much and you're not getting as many text messages, emails, phone calls, it's telling you right there blaringly that somebody was charming you. The moment you're not as giving as much or you're not saying as much, you're not getting a whole lot of feedback. You're not getting a whole lot of feedback. So pay attention to all of those things, Aquarius. That's where you're being in your feminine energy, activating your feminine energy. You know that there's a temperature change. You're not sad about it. You're just aware. 18. I am kind hearted. There we go. 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. So what does 9 mean? That's the number of transformation. You're not going to let somebody stop you from being a giver. But your eyes have been made aware that you have been an overgiver. And that's what you're stopping. That's what's ending. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 is the number of something needs to end in order for you to get back to being a balanced giver, right? So you are both open-minded and open-hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need with the highest good of all. Yep. So, um, like I said, this is not for anybody to get nervous or get paranoid about anything. You have a lot of energies around you, Aquarius, whether you realize it or not, that you've already poured into. You've already built up relationships with people that other people don't know about. So eyes are on you for a good reason. Like there's energies that they just, they just know, right? So let's just, let's uh, close this out. Was this the do 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 Yep. Today is the seed time. Now are the hours of work and tomorrow comes the harvest. That's why I say it right here. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. Watch your business starts picking up Aquarius. Watch you start becoming more mindful of not oversharing, not overtelling stuff. You learn how to be in just receiving mode of messages coming back. But it's not for the purpose of somebody getting paranoid. It's like, okay, I don't trust this person. Is that person a snake charmer? You already know who they are. You already know who they are. You've gotten into arguments with them. There's been things that were said that was just shocking to you. Like, oh my God, I can't believe what, <laughs> right? You've already been there. So this is not for you to be paranoid. This is for you to be awake, aware, a third eye open, right? That things are changing drastically for you in very wealthy ways on the other side. Here we have pause for a moment and breathe in for three counts and out for three counts, Aquarius. Ask yourself, what am I doing today to set myself up for success down the road? First order of business is cutting some energies off. That's first order of business. Straight up cutting their energy off because the, the energy is out of alignment, right? That is what I have for you, Aquarius. And I will see you all on, like I said, I'm going to put the questions for the moon in uh, Leo below. Go back and watch the previous video for the moon and cancer questions, right? So as you start watching these videos again, and you start watching other placements in your birth chart for certain things, that's when you're going to say, okay, all of this is starting to make sense to me. It's all okay. And, and, uh, and I, and for, and for the record, I appreciate everybody who has comments below each one of the videos. I appreciate each and every one of you all, just, even if you're just passing through, but thank you all for tuning in to this channel. 
Again, this is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. And I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.